by the time the story has been through the ringer. What if I just like don't love the story anymore? There is a strong soul there, but I don't know if my abilities as a writer is like strong enough to really make those ideas shine. Am I a good writer? <laughs> like and also it's just like what does that even mean like what does a good writer even mean but like do our <sighs>welcome back to my channel thank you for being here today so today is december 1st and i thought that i would start my next writing diaries vlog pretty much it is the start of a new month and i'm ready to just like put all of the hardships that i experienced last month i am ready to put them away and i am instead going to try to finish project night my second fantasy novel before the end of the year. To be honest, that's gonna be really, really hard. I, I genuinely don't know if we're gonna be able to do that. I'll probably, for this vlog, I will probably be just vlogging the first couple weeks of December, see how my month pans out, but we'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna play things by ear. All right, so yesterday, <laughs> I was literally rethinking of refilming the intro to this vlog because literally yesterday, I was like, yeah, I think my goal is to finish this book before the end of the year. <laughs> Look, I've, I've checked my outline again, and I just don't think that that's actually feasible. It's a little bit more unrealistic than I thought it was going to be because I, I double checked my outline and there are a couple sections that are not as fleshed out in my notes as I thought they were. Like, I wouldn't say I'm stuck in the plot because I know what it, what needs to happen but um I want to spend more time thinking through my scene construction a little bit more because there is an act four of this book it's still you know act three isn't the end of this of this book so and then pretty much my notes for act four are all like they're just like not as fleshed out as as I hoped they were and also as I wrote act three I changed some things so I have to like think a little bit more critically about like how I want the flow of these final scenes to to go. But last night I had a really good writing session. I was able to bang out like 1600 words. So the draft right now is around 66,000 words. I anticipate that the rest of the draft is gonna be another 30k maybe give or take i don't really know i really really enjoyed the scene that i wrote last night i'm at the midpoint of act three so we are going to be starting chapter 24 which is like after chapter 24 we're like we're writing the climax of this book it's very very exciting so yeah i'll keep you guys posted on how it goes started snowing. Coffee is secured, but at what cost? <laughs> Hello, hi. There's like construction going on in my house right now and I managed to like film a video this morning. I have 50 minutes of raw footage. My hair is like completely messed up <laughs> in the footage. See that? You see this piece of hair? I'm at my wits end today, you guys. Okay, we have made it to the act three climax of Project Night. So I'm basically right now I'm drafting chapter 25. It's one of the first chapters that I ever conceptualized when I was brainstorming this novel. So it feels kind of like surreal that we're in it now. Like this is the chapter where just things break down. I'm really trying to like gather myself today. It's gonna be a long drafting day. Man, I don't know. I'm like scared to write it though. You know when you like have imagined how a scene is going to play out in your head and then you finally get around to writing it and you're like kind of just scared to write it. Crazy though because like a week ago I was feeling so 
disillusioned about about the soul of this book like I was really I had a lot of doubts about whether or not it was it was worth drafting to the end my headspace is just a lot better I think I've ironed out a lot of really key plot points and I'm just so excited like we're gonna be I think we're gonna be pushing 70,000 words also I the video that I posted yesterday I was really really nervous to upload it because I it was kind of just like it was a NaNoWriMo recap but it was also just like a very a very like honest talk I guess about self-confidence and as a writer and I just like didn't know whether or not I wanted to like post it in its entirety. I'm glad I did because I think I feel a lot better. Um, thank you to everyone who like shared their experiences in the comments. I honestly like loved reading your comments on that video. It was very very cool to see. Anyway, I'm gonna get to writing now. So another quick draft update. Um, last night I was able to finish chapter 24, <laughs> which I have been writing for quite some time so I was really happy that I was finally able to get it out of the way and now today my goal is to finish chapter 25. I was gonna try to finish it yesterday but there are two scenes in this chapter and the first scene is like a scene that I've been like dying to write for the past few weeks so I actually felt like leaving this scene to write today would actually motivate me to start my draft because I like to finish writing in the middle of scenes that I know I want to write. I actually tweeted about this scene when I was like re-outlining act three. It's kind of like a quieter moment. I spend a lot of time trying to make these scenes feel like earned in the narrative and as difficult as they are to write I feel like they're also really rewarding when I'm able to you know really nail it down so I'm gonna tinker with that and hopefully it goes well <laughs> we'll see hello happy Monday I just wanted to show you guys I did some Christmas wrapping with my mom yesterday so I basically have all my friends gifts wrapped and I just have to write them some cards and then I also did Christmas shopping for some family members. I'm gonna get off the floor, hang on. So anyways, that's what I was spending a lot of my time doing yesterday. So because I was doing all of those like holiday things, I wasn't able to finish the last chapter of act three. Ugh, I wanted to finish it on Sunday so bad. I was still able to squeeze in like four hours of writing, but I feel like I spent most of that time editing chapter 20, five the second last chapter of act three yeah i don't know i just feel like on sundays i'm so lazy i was like lying in bed last night just like thinking about writing the end of this book and like a part of me was like getting like emotional and i don't know why it's not like this is the first book i've like ever written or anything but i can't believe i'm like in the end game of this book like i really i can't believe it oh yeah that's the other thing i've mentioned this before in other vlogs but i overwrite so many scenes and when i went back to like read previous chapters there was a lot of stuff that i realized i could just cut out like a lot of like run-on descriptions because i was cutting out some stuff um it actually like brought down my word count um so i actually don't have any i don't have like a solid idea of how many new words i wrote yesterday because i was writing for like three to four hours but i think the word count moved um like less than a thousand new words that's kind of where the draft is at at the moment because i overwrite a lot especially when i'm drafting like a first draft i actually keep a page outside of the manuscript on scrivener an extra page with all of my notes and stuff is called save your darlings <laughs> and every time i cut uh, a paragraph or a few lines that i like or that I even think I might want to use later. Always copy and paste it into that page called Save Your Darlings because, <laughs> because back when I was in university and I was like in my creative writing classes, my professor, she would often tell us like, you know, you need to learn how to kill your darlings. That was like a really hard thing for me to do, especially back then because I didn't realize how much I tended to overwrite until I was in workshop and I had people telling me <laughs> to kind of like get over 
the anxiety that I would feel about having to cut lines that I liked, I started keeping track of all of them. It honestly helped me a lot because I, I sometimes do this even if it's like not a line that I'm in love with but that I think is conveying an idea that I'm just not phrasing it properly in the moment but I know that maybe it's just not the right time in the story to convey that idea and maybe that's why it's not working in the scene. Instead of trying to make it work in the scene um, and instead of cutting it entirely, I just like in my little box of cut lines that I go back and pluck from later. Hello, I'm just dropping in to do a little currently reading updates. You know when you like start a book and you're like very sure that this was like written for you, <laughs> you know? It seems like this book is actually like multi POV slash dual POV and I'm very pleased because it seems like, okay, I'm literally, I'm literally on page 22, which is literally chapter three. Okay, we barely started this book and it seems like there is a healthy dose of mutual pining one of my favorite things ever and <laughs> i feel like i don't see it as much in books because not many books i read that have like a prominent romantic subplot tend to be in dual pov but i just think that dual pov and mutual pining is freaking elite and i'm so happy that this book has that i am really really enjoying the prose it's surprisingly well i shouldn't say surprisingly it's not like i thought i wouldn't enjoy the prose but i'm enjoying it like a lot oh it's just like it's like it perfectly captures the whimsical tone of the story but it's also really atmospheric and descriptive. I don't want to get my hopes up because obviously I just started reading it but I'm I'm feeling it you know I'm feeling it. I just realized I've been vlogging for like over two weeks now I think. I don't really know how much progress I've made on the draft in those two weeks. thought by now I would have been done act three but it's not that I'm in a writing slump because I've been writing a little bit every day. Um, I just haven't been progressing the chapter that I'm currently writing. Cause again, I just keep like editing old scenes and stuff like that. I'm still writing, I'm finishing the last chapter of act three right now. I feel like I'm procrastinating honestly finishing this chapter because I just realized that this last chapter of act three is a very like emotionally devastating scene and I'm like low-key like I don't usually get like this about my stories for some reason it's like I can feel in my gut that it's going to be a very hard scene to write like emotionally I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that there's like one particular side character that struggled to understand her at the start of this book and I think like this scene is supposed to be like the 
climax of what she's going through. It's supposed to be this very like huge crescendo and I don't want to write it A because it's like very devastating for her, B because it's just like like her role in the story is like I don't think in this first draft I've laid out all of the um the proper stepping stones for her to really have that emotional payoff that she's supposed to have in this chapter. Okay, this is supposed to be where so many plot threads come together. All of the revelations that are happening for the characters in by the end of this act are like, it's just a lot emotionally for them. I don't know, like, I just haven't been in the headspace to really like capture what they're feeling, you know? There's par certain parts of certain characters' arcs that aren't fully ironed out and so by the time I've gotten to this like huge climactic scene there's still some wrinkles. <laughs> I know that it's like, you know, whatever I write for this first draft isn't going to be perfect but yeah that's just like a long-winded way for me to basically explain what has been like creatively holding me back for the past couple days. It's also like been extremely cold in my house. I was like scared earlier today because I thought I was getting a fever but I don't actually feel warm. Like my skin isn't warm but I do have like chills but I think that's just because it's cold. <laughs> so draft update, I wrote 1200 words last night. I'm pretty happy with what I wrote yesterday. There are two main, actually there are three main scenes in this chapter. Um, I haven't decided if the second scene is going to be split up into two scenes or if it's just going to be one long scene, um, but last night I wrote that first scene and then I started the second half of the chapter and then I realized that in order for me to figure out how I wanted that second half of the chapter to play out, I actually needed to first figure out how I wanted the first chapter of Act 4 to go. It's kind of hard to explain, but basically like something that's like happening to one of the side characters in the last chapter of Act 3, um, the first chapter of Act 4 is in their perspective. And so that first chapter of Act 4 recontextualizes our understanding of them. I felt like I needed to write that first before I could write the last chapter of Act 3. <laughs> that was like a really confusing explanation, but that's just like my long way of basically explaining why I had to go back and forth between the two chapters last night. Like it's an exciting part of the draft, but it's really, there's just so many things that I have to keep track of and honestly it's kind of making me lose my mind a little bit. I think honestly <sighs> last night I was like having these thoughts where I was like I was so excited to write this part of the draft but also I could feel myself being like am I in my abilities as a writer like am I capable of being able to really write the story that I want to write like am I ever gonna write a story that is going to be solid, you know? Like out of all of the projects that I've worked on, especially within the last two years, I don't even know if I'm getting better. Like I don't know if I... <laughs> oh my god. I literally just made a video about this. I think I'm just scared that I'm gonna get to the end of this draft and then I'm going to, you know, maybe even get to a, a strong revision phase and I'll put it through beta reader feedback and I'll start writing another draft and then at the end of that all, by the time the story has been through the ringer, what if I just like don't love the story anymore? Like what if like my passion for it is gone? If it's like not strong enough to be published? Where I'm at right now is that like I really like the story that I'm writing. I really like the ideas I even think that there is, there is a strong soul there, but I don't know if my abilities as a writer is like strong enough to really make those ideas shine. This is too depressing for a writing vlog, you guys. It's time to end this vlog. I think it's time to end this vlog. Anyways, this is just a long way of me saying that I don't have any indication of like, am I, am I a good writer? <laughs> <laughs> like, and also it's just like, what does that even mean? Like, what does a good writer even mean? But like, do are, 
what what am I right like what are my stories even and I really should have like written notes I just I should just start scripting every part of my vlog now so that I don't like start rambling like I am right now act four honestly like I'm gonna be pantsing it a little bit like I do have an outline for it but I actually changed some like a few like core details of some of the character arcs because of that I think act four I'm just gonna be like feeling it out pretty much. It might be shorter. My feeling in my gut is that I over outlined for act four and I don't think it's actually going to be as long as I, as I originally thought. But yeah, we're gonna wrap up here because if I keep going, we're just gonna have some like really negative mental spirals. All right, that is all I have for today. Thank you guys as always for watching this vlog. Hope all of your writing projects are going well and I'll see you guys in the next one.